hello students today we will learn that how a reciprocating pump works okay reciprocating pump is a device which is used to take a liquid from low head liquid with low head and by addition of energy it is made to exit with higher head content remember this thing that the concept of head and bernoulli's theorem is a must to understand this lecture in case you don't know the concept of head and bernoulli theorem then it is described in my another lecture which is particularly dedicated for concept of head and bernoulli's theorem okay so reciprocating pump is a device which takes a liquid from low head or low height you can say and ultimately delivers it with higher head from the exit of the reciprocating pump okay now this is the schematic diagram of the reciprocating pump you can see it consists of a suction pipe you can see this as i am showing by the arrow this is the suction pipe which is dipping inside a sump what is sump sump is the source of liquid from where the liquid is to be pulled so that it can be moved to its destination like this okay this is the suction pipe and there is a piston cylinder mechanism you can see this is the cylinder and this gray colored entity is the piston this piston is connected to a piston rod this piston rod is constrained to move only in left and right direction to and fro only reciprocating motion can be executed with this piston rod and so as the piston can also execute only the reciprocating motion this piston rod is ultimately connected by the help of a pin joint to a connecting rod you can see okay and this connecting rod is further connected to a crank okay so the process is of such kind that in case this crank rotates this crank is rotated by the help of providing power it usually by the help of an electric motor so when this crank rotates then due to its rotation the rotary motion converts into reciprocating motion of the piston like this okay now further there is a delivery pipe delivery pipe is the pipe through which the liquid outflows from this cylinder and ultimately comes out from the exit of delivery pipe with higher head content now you can see there are two valves implanted over here this is the inlet valve and this is the outlet valve these are non written valves it means that this inlet valve is pivoted over this end i am showing by the help of arrow okay so it can open inside like this like a flap it can open inside but it cannot open in opposite side so when liquid is pulled inside when liquid is pulled inside then it automatically opens and liquid goes inside the cylinder okay similarly this outlet valve is there it can open only outside like this this direction as i am showing by the help of arrow okay but it cannot open in opposite side so in case a liquid is pushed then it will open and liquid go out but in case liquid wants to go back return back it cannot do that because the inlet the outlet valve can open only in one side same thing in case the water the liquid wants to go toward opposite side it cannot happen also with the inlet valve because it can also open only in one side that's it now we will learn that how the reciprocating pump works it is very simple to understand remember that piston always executes reciprocating motion between two dead centers there are two extremities between which this piston can reciprocate those are the top dead center and the bottom dead center like this okay now imagine that this crank starts rotating and rotating in clockwise direction now what will happen in case is it starts rotating like this since it is rotating like this so it will pull the piston okay when the piston is pulled then inside the cylinder a vacuum is created a void is created due to that vacuum the water is pulled inside by opening the inlet valve automatically because inlet valve can open inside like this it will open like a flap it is pivoted over here and liquid will be pulled inside now further when the crank rotates more then the piston will start moving toward the bottom dead center so this valve will close but since when it is pushing the water water cannot go back opening this inlet valve in opposite side because it is constrained only to open in inside but this valve can open this outlet valve so water will push this valve open it and will go away and ultimately come out from the delivery end like this once again when piston will move toward the right hand side by the help of this crank then vacuum is created due to that vacuum the water will be pulled inside since this inlet valve can open in corresponding one side therefore 
automatically the water will open this wall and go inside and with further movement when water is pushed this wall will open that will automatically close and water will ultimately reach to its destination this is how the reciprocating pump works so simple to understand now in case we take the center of this cylinder okay in case we take the center of the cylinder and this is the level of water of the sump sump level it is called a sump level so the distance between this center of cylinder and the sump level is called as suction head denoted by hs and the distance between this delivery end of this delivery pipe and the center of cylinder is called as delivery head okay so hope you would have understood the working of reciprocating pump 